Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for being here. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whichever holiday that you celebrate. I hope everyone is doing well. So I am bringing you guys a reading today and this is going to be a check-in on how your person is feeling towards you. Before I jump into the readings, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for being here, for following and waiting for my videos. It means a lot to me and thank you for those who donated to my channel. It definitely helps me to purchase new decks for the reading. Um, definitely not necessary, but thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. You will get all of my latest videos. I try to post weekly. Sometimes it doesn't happen depending on what's going on in my life um, and my energy as well. But definitely don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for being here and let's jump right into the reading. So pile one is going to be this red um, ornament ball. Pile two is the gold silver ball and pile three is going to be the clear poinsettia Christmas ball or holiday ball, whatever you guys celebrate. Go ahead and meditate on whichever one is drawing you in. I'm going to cleanse the space again as you guys are meditating. All right, you guys, timestamps will be below and I'll see you at your pile. Hi everyone, welcome to pile number one. If you chose this red holiday ball, this is going to be your reading. So I'm just gonna place it right there for now. And all right, let's take a look. I'm actually gonna save this message for the end from your person to you. So we're gonna put it, let's just put it over here for right now. And let's take a look and see how your person is feeling towards you. Okay, well, we have bouquet, compliments from an admirer. That's beautiful. We also have true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Okay, well, I can tell you pile number one, that the person that you're thinking about, this is most likely a connection where it is a little newer. Maybe you just met this person and there are lots of thoughts about you know, this person is seeing you as the one or that you could be the one. Um, you could be someone very exciting for them in their life. Um, they're definitely admiring you from afar. So whether you know if this person likes you or not, um, if they've made it known, there's an energy here of them wanting to make this energy known. Um, for a lot of you, you know, it could be that they want to shower you with a lot of compliments, a lot of gifts. Some of them might be literally bringing you something for the holidays as a gift or a gift from them to you. But it's a very sweet energy that I'm getting, guys. Pile number one from your person. This person's definitely very interested in you. If they haven't told you that they're interested, you will know by um, you know, the end of the year because of this card that's coming out. I feel like they're gonna bring you something or they're planning on bringing something to you so i'm gonna go ahead and get some tarot on this let's get the naked tarot for power spirit how does their person feel pile number one. Oh, you can't even see the ball hold on let's put it there there we go how does pile one's person feel Towards them. Let's see, what do you guys need to know? Okay, we have the Innocence of Pentacles coming out. Let's see, we have the Naked Heart. Yeah, this is definitely a newer energy. And we have the Heart of Swords. So to me, bottom of the deck, we have the Star. Oh my gosh, yeah. Look at what we have next after that. We have the Fool. Oh my gosh. And the Wheel of Fortune right after that. Okay, I'm going to take it. Those are 
three major arcanas that just came out for your person. The first message that I'm getting, can you guys see that? I definitely feel like this is a newer energy because we have the innocence of pentacles and the naked heart. This to me tells me, these three cards here, that this person wants to make it known. So again, I think most of you guys maybe kind of know um, or you guys have like an inclination that this person is interested and I feel like they are making plans and it could be that they're trying to figure out what to give you um, to let you know that they are definitely very interested here. When I see the naked heart in this particular deck, that reminds me of someone that really wants to be raw, be open with you, someone that doesn't want to hide their feelings. This is someone that is definitely following their heart space and they're following how they feel. So they're definitely led by their emotions here and they're not afraid to show it. Um, with the star card coming out, I also feel like this person sees you as someone that is ideal for them. So it could be you are someone that they have always wished for. There are many things about you that is charming or just very um, um, ideal for them. You know, you are someone that is definitely their type is what I'm getting here. And they are seeing you as someone very special here. Uh, coming through and I just have this feeling that they are going to bring you some sort of gift. It could literally just be also flowers or just some sort of gesture where you know that this person is so into you, pile number one. I'm just getting a lot of very sweet energies that's coming through from your person. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, this person could also feel like the way that you guys met was destined or it was serendipitous. So however the two of you guys met, this person is seeing you as someone that just came out of nowhere, like fell from the sky and they are seeing you as like someone completely a perfect fit for them with the star card coming out. I want to get the full card. I feel like this person wants to take a risk here. Let's see what this might be. Okay, the full. I don't know if you guys can hear my Christmas music in the background, but I have it in the other room. We have the sage coming out. Yeah, this person is seeing you as, um, I feel like, what am I getting here? They are calculating their next move. I don't know, they're really planning something very special for you, pal number one, um, and this person wants it to be perfect. So they're really thinking about taking the leap of faith and you know, jumping off the edge and really wanting to make it known that they have feelings for you, that they, you know, whatever they're planning on doing, I feel like it's very strategic or they've been planning it for quite some time. Um, they've been also, I think, watching you from afar is, I don't know why I'm getting that. I just feel like they've been watching you from afar and whatever is coming next in your connection. This is something that they've been wanting to do for quite some time for a while now, and it's going to be very special and it's going to feel very magical. Pal number one, when this person comes forward here. So let's get, I want to get one of these cards here. One spirit. How does their person feel? They're planning something, I can tell you that. Okay, we have your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. So I think we are, are we in Capricorn season, late December, December? I think we're almost there. Um, if not, I could be wrong, I'm a Capricorn too. I just know my birthday is a Capricorn in January. I feel like, yeah, this person is definitely putting in a lot of work and a lot of effort and they're really willing to put in a lot of work and effort when it comes to you. Whatever they are planning, um, they are bringing something forward and you're gonna be just shocked. I feel like you are just gonna be so surprised. You're gonna feel like the luckiest person in the world whatever happens in the next couple of weeks, because I feel like this is going to happen sometime soon during Capricorn season. It could be, or you or them could be a Capricorn. 
but something very exciting is coming with this person, pal number one. So let's go ahead and reveal. Okay, let's take a look at this message. I haven't seen it yet and see how else they're feeling towards you. Being away from you hurts like hell. I didn't realize it would be this difficult. Yeah, so this person is like aching and pining for you. They have very strong emotions for you, pal number one. And if they haven't already, they are definitely planning on bringing forth some sort of surprise for you, some sort of gift. And this is something that they have been planning on doing for a long time now. So pile number one, that was your reading guys. Let me know if this resonates. Happy holidays. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings. Take care. Hi, pal two. If you chose the gold silverish ball, this is going to be your reading. So I'm going to put it over here. These are hard to stay put because they want to roll around. There you go. All right, let's take a look. So I'm going to save this message actually for the end. And we're going to take a look and see how your person is feeling towards you. So we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. That is very beautiful. Kind of like pile number one here. It could be that this person is thinking about expressing their love or maybe they um, enjoy um, expressing their love towards you. Egg, success assured with good plans and hard work. Okay, this is kind of like pile one. So if you were torn between one or pile number one and this pile, you might wanna check out pile one because I am getting kind of the same energy here with these cards. So I definitely feel like this person is planning on making some sort of move or they're planning on expressing something to you. Um, and it's definitely their feelings for you. This person has strong feelings when it comes to you. Um, there's an element here of them needing to strategize. I don't know why that's coming through and maybe needing to plan this out very strategically. It could be that this person is also kind of strategic or for some reason I'm getting that they work with numbers, something like that. Um, but there's definitely an energy here of them planning on expressing their feelings for you. And I feel like this is gonna be hatching pretty soon here with the egg card coming out. This is totally like pile number one. That's so interesting. Okay, so let's get some cards, tarot cards. Here are you guys, pile two. Okay, what is pile two's person? Feel towards them, spirit. What do they need to know? Woo, oh my gosh. Did you see that? That went right into the flame. Good thing it did not catch on fire. <laughs> Pile two, okay, that fell on the floor. <gasps> yes, look at that, that is a perfect card. Ace of Cups, this person is definitely in love with you and they are ready to share something very special with you. This person is overflowing with joy and emotions when it comes to you. Um, and I feel like many of you guys don't know this yet about your person that you're asking about. So maybe you kind of knew Maybe the two of you guys have been, and I know, dating casually, and now this person is ready to move things to the next level. That's kind of what I'm getting, actually, for a lot of you. Um, but nonetheless, Ace of Cups is about someone being in love with you and someone having very deep emotions for you. So that is beautiful. Let's get more. We have the Nine of Pentacles. That's a beautiful card as well. Woo, look at that. This came out all in pile number one. That's so interesting. We have the star. And I shuffled too. You guys saw me, right? That's crazy. So um, kind of the same energy here. We have the sage. We have the fool. And let's look at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, we have the moon card coming out. That is beautiful, pile number two. We also have the nine of swords after that and the six of wands. I kind of want to take it. 
So for some reason, this person feels a little anxious about expressing their emotions when it comes to you. I feel like for some of you, this could literally be a proposal. Um, that's what I'm getting. I think that's why I'm getting the energy of them needing to strategize or really needing to make this perfect because for a lot of you, this is a proposal. This is, you know, you guys have been dating for some time and they wanna take it to the next level here. This is them confessing their love and their commitment and their promise to want to be with you um, forever here is what I'm getting. There is this nervous energy of them feeling like, you know, this is it. I'm going to go for it with the full card and the six of wands. They're going to definitely make it known. They're going to put all of their eggs in one basket and they're going to just jump off and go for it. Um, for those of you that aren't there yet where this isn't like a proposal, this is just a very romantic gesture, you know, putting their eggs, there's the egg in the basket and, you know, letting you know that you are the one for them and they see you as someone very promising and long-term and they don't want to lose you. Okay. So there's two scenarios coming through for many of you. This is a proposal though. I'm getting that strongly because I was getting the energy of needing to strategize, needing to make sure that this whole situation is perfect. However, they're, they're planning on doing that. Um, for some reason I'm hearing a trip. Um, I'm seeing like the Eiffel Tower. Um, I'm seeing snow, so it could be happening sometime now during the winter, um, the fall months is, is kind of what I'm getting. For some of you, for some reason, I'm seeing that image in my head. But we have, um, yeah, a lot of uh, lovey-dovey energies coming through, guys. Yeah, see, look at that. We have the strength card. This person, I think, is very nervous at this moment because um for those of you if this is a proposal this person is nervous to you know however they're trying to propose to you it can be very nerve-wracking for people um because you they want to make it perfect they want to get it right they want to make sure that everything is in its place where it needs to be um and so forth so let's get one of these moon cards here for pile two how does their person feel towards them? Yes, look at that. What a perfect card pal to expect a powerful change. A big change indeed is coming for you. And this connection with this person, new moon and eclipse, whatever is happening, it's going to bring forth a big change from where you guys are now to something completely new. I'm seeing a lot of new energy. I'm seeing um, a birth of, you know, with the egg, there's just a birth of something new coming, a completely different life is coming for you and the person that you are asking about here. Um, that is so beautiful, pile number two. Huh. I kind of want to clarify that moon. I keep staring at it. Clarify the moon. We have the sky father. Okay. This person is definitely planning on making a pretty big gesture here. And this is going to catch you by surprise. That's what I'm getting here. Um, this person is probably someone that is very powerful for one thing. Um, they are very in control in this situation and whatever they're planning, it's going to be, it's going to be surprising and very exciting for you. Palm number two, you're not going to see it coming. Um, this is so, I feel very excited about this one. Um, more so than pal number one, kind of similar energy. So you might want to check it out. But let's go ahead and take a look at the other card here of how house number two person is feeling towards them. My memories of you haunt me and keep me thinking about what could have been. So it could be that this person um, maybe thinks about the past. It could be that they think about 
I'm getting here, not literally, but I feel like this person is thinking about a lot of things that you shared in the past. And I feel like there is this energy of them being fearful that if they don't move things forward with you, that they could lose you forever. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, they don't want to think about you in their memory. They want to have you like in their future is what I'm getting here. Pile number two. So that is very beautiful. I'm super excited for you guys. If you guys chose this pile, let me know how it resonates at the bottom. And I'm sending you guys love and blessings. Happy holidays, guys. Take care. Hello, pile three. If you chose the clear ornament with the red flowers on it, these are going to be your reading. So we'll just, there you go. They're kind of hard to stay put. So I'm actually gonna read this card at the end. I'm gonna save this one for the end. And let's take a look and see how your person feels towards you. We have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This is very different energy. I can already tell from pals one and two. We have throne, person of authority. That's really interesting here. I feel like this person is a little standoffish, to be honest with you, the person that you're asking about. So there seems to be some sort of blockage or this person feels afraid to open their heart. And I just get the sense that maybe they've been hurt in the past. Um, or maybe you've been hurt in the past, vice versa, and they are maybe wanting to love you, but maybe you are the one pushing them away is kind of what I'm getting from those cards. So let's take a look with some tarot. I'm gonna give this a good shuffle for pile three. Pile three. How does that person feel? What do they need to know? Wow, look at that guys. First card out, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a pretty solid um, offer here. This is about a commitment. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. Okay, we have the Innocence of Cups. We have the Movement of Wands. Mm, okay, I feel like you, the person that's watching, this person to me seems like they're trying to take things slow. They're trying to not get too excited about this connection because they do see you as someone that they want to commit to, but there is someone is blocked or someone feels afraid. And I feel like it is, um, it could be you or them, but I feel like it's you, the person that's watching that maybe you know, this person, you've asked them to kind of slow things down a little bit. Maybe things were moving too fast here, but it's because this person is, again, sees you as someone that is pretty promising to them, but they know that you have been hurt in the past. And so there's this energy here of, you know, wanting to kind of take control of this connection, but also knowing that they can't push you further than um, then you want it to go at this moment. There's this energy of wanting, needing to slow things down. Yeah, we have the moon coming out. Okay, and that flipped like a bunch of times. Oh my gosh, this came out in pile two. Yeah, this person definitely, and we have the world and the 10 of wands after that. So we have three I think this is a 10 too. We have three tens coming out. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? That's so interesting. This person knows that you have been through a lot of hardships and maybe you have been through a lot of bad relationships in the past. And they want you to know that they are different, that they are coming towards you with an actual cup of love, an actual um, something to offer you right? They're not just coming in as this knight of wands type of energy that where they're just gonna, 
come in and then leave. This person wants you to know that they're in it for the long run, the long haul here with the 10 of pentacles, okay? So the 10 of pentacles with the first card coming out, that's a very important message for you guys. You know, they want you to know that they, they're they stable and they're in it for something serious and long-term here. You know, this person definitely doesn't want to lose you and they know that they need to take things slow but at the same time, they are very much in love with you. And I have a feeling they wish that they could maybe not, they want their feelings to be more known than it already is. Because this is coming out, I feel like they have to kind of hold back a lot of their emotions for you because you've been hurt in the past, because, you know, they're trying to take things slow, or maybe you told them you wanted to take things slow. That's really interesting. Um, Pile number three. So let's get one of these cards here. But there's a big message here that they want you to know that they are someone that you can trust, right? That's why it's saying it's safe for you to love. That makes sense now. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, that's why they're wanting you to know that it is safe for you to love pile number three, that they are going to be there, they're dependable, they're trustworthy. They're not just going to be in it for a hot second. So let's get one of these cards here. How does Pal 3's person feel? Wow. This energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. So again, I feel like this person wants to move things quicker than maybe you want it to. But there is an energy of them knowing again that they need they need you to trust them. Okay, let's get, I feel like getting one more card here. Okay. Work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. Yes, this is interesting. I keep, I'm asking about this person, but I feel like this is like the projection of what they're wanting to say to you. So they want you to work through your fears. They don't want you to be fearful of um, them and this connection. They are definitely very much here for the long run. And with the Ace of Cups, this is beautiful energy. This is about someone being in love. This is about this person having deep, strong emotions for you. Um, that's not going to go anywhere. You know, I feel like this person's emotions are, they know that, you know, they want something more with you and they wish that you could just trust them and trust um, this whole process is kind of what I'm getting from your person to you. So let's go ahead and take a look at this um, card of how they feel. I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger and I can't control them. Yes. So this person is, I feel like if you guys got in some sort of argument, this is just for some of you, that this person doesn't want to move on. You know, they don't want to let you go. They definitely want you to know. Okay, so if you guys are in separation at the moment, they want you to know that they can't forget about you, that the way that they feel is quite strong. And there's just this energy for you guys that are watching, you know, they want you to know that they are trustworthy, that you, that it is safe for you to love. They want you to work through your fears. Um, and they're coming back for you, pile number three, regardless of what you say. That's just kind of what I'm getting from them. I feel like they are willing to put in the work. And there is another, a second chance here for you guys coming up in the future, near future, um, with this person. So pile number three, that was your reading, guys. I hope it resonates. Let me know. Happy holidays. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings. Take care.